Shocking news XRP new US reserve currency. Nowadays, many are arguing which of the cryptocurrencies has a greater potential for growth. Increasingly, there are thoughts that the supporters of XRP will emerge victorious from this struggle. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. What do you think the maximum price for XRP will be in 2022? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell, who always knew how to calm the markets and tell the worst news in such a way that they immediately began to grow again. Yesterday, he probably left the Fed meetings on the wrong foot and literally raged, because immediately after his words, the situation changed to the opposite. The main topic of this article will be yesterday's Fed meeting, what exactly did Powell scare the markets so much and what will happen now with inflation, the rate and the regulators balance sheets by almost $9 trillion. And we will also discuss the price of Bitcoin, because the world's leading financial holdings and world-famous investment funds do not share pessimism about the fall and see $90,000 this year, and in a few years they generally call the price at $1 million. So Jerome Powell raged and that's how things unfolded yesterday. In anticipation of the Fed meeting, the US stock market was growing, at the moment there was almost $39,000 for Bitcoin at all. And here are the results of the meeting, it is announced that the Fed, as expected, keeps the rate at a near zero level, and the taping will go on as before and will end in March. How Jerome Powell's press conference began, and now he showed himself from a side that he had not been seen from before. In fact, after Biden supported Powell's candidacy for a second term as Fed chairman, his rhetoric became tougher. But yesterday he really said a lot of very scary things for the markets. The first is an increase in inflation. Today it is already equal to 7% in the USA and earlier we were promised that it would grow up a little more, and then it would definitely go down. Then, according to the new version from Powell, there are risks that inflation will rise until the end of 2022, if not further and by the end of the year, the Fed is unlikely to be able to return it to the desired level of 2%. The second trouble is raising the stakes. Earlier, the Fed talked about plans to raise the rate three times by 25 basis points. Now Powell announced the following that this year the Fed will react to inflation, and they have many opportunities to change the rate. We are talking about the Fed meetings, which will be held exactly seven more before the end of the year, and it turns out that, in theory, each of them can raise the rate if the inflation data require it. And the third important thing is the reduction of the Fed's balance sheets, which today, are slightly less than $9 trillion. Powell stressed that in March we finish taping, raise the bid for the first time, and start selling. He also added that the Fed's balance sheets are very large and require significant reduction. It sounds very alarming however, here Powell apparently triggered some kind of internal switch, and he somewhat smoothed out the position, adding that sales will be conducted in an orderly and predictable manner. That is, so as not to collapse the markets. It should be noted that the Fed does not really pursue the goal of collapsing the stock market and with it cryptocurrencies, gold, and so on. But they are now a tightrope walker with rising inflation on the one hand and the threat of falling markets on the other. And so they will have to play a game when they need to raise the rate and sell assets from the balance sheet, but at the same time not to arrange a new crisis. In 2018, such actions with the simultaneous sale of assets and raising the rate resulted in a correction for the S&P 500 by 20%. How they will do it in 2022, we will find out very soon, the next meeting will be when the Fed starts raising the rate on March 16th. Subscribe to the CoinPost channel to receive the latest cryptocurrency news promptly. We promised you a good forecast from the financial holding, and we have it. Director of Macroeconomic Research at Fidelity Investments Jurian Timmer believes that $35,000 is a fair price for Bitcoin, and we are unlikely to go much lower than it. The analyst warns that deviations from the model can be significant, but the current price, based on his demand model, is at $39,000 and the lower we are from this level, the more oversold Bitcoin is. At the same time, the ratio of Bitcoin to gold indicates that the price is near the bottom. 
and we also see the formation of a bullish divergence on the short-term momentum chart. Note that his model indicates $110,000 for one Bitcoin in 2023, and during this year prices may already rise above the current maximum of $69,000. Here is a forecast from Fidelity, we also expect a rebound in Bitcoin by $40,000 and even higher, but in our understanding this will only be a temporary increase and then the rate may go to a new bottom. Regarding the article about altcoins, we want to explain that we did not urge anyone to sell altcoins yesterday, we only told you that if you have altcoins on your hands, and they may be in the red now. And soon there may be a good chance to exit the market with a small profit, or at least zero. Many readers said that at the bottom you only need to buy more on average, not be a hamster and wait for prices to go up again. If your analysis shows that such a coin will definitely grow, then, of course, your strategy is correct. Just look at these charts. Litecoin lost 90% after the last peak and exceeded it last year by only a few tens of dollars. Tron, the top 8 project in terms of TVL for today, a fast and cheap blockchain with a large number of users, but the price never reached the highs of January 2018. Stellar, it's like XRP, only no one judges them, and there are agreements with a number of countries, including Ukraine, on participation in the development of a national digital currency. And how do you like Skash? It was they who came up with a zero disclosure proof on which many second level protocols for Ethereum and Mina, beloved by many, are now built. We can continue to show similar charts for a very long time, so if you believe that your coin is guaranteed to set a new maximum, of course keep and buy more. But we agreed to talk about cryptocurrencies without rose-colored glasses, and the reality is that even top projects can cruelly deceive your expectations. So we are not encouraging you to sell, we are asking you to simply analyze your portfolio again, evaluating each coin in detail. And now let's move on to the good news. The first is the Tesla report. According to the company's documents, they are still investing in Bitcoin. In the fourth quarter of last year, Elon Musk did not buy anything, but he did not sell anything either. And the next good news is the report of the analysts of the ARK Invest Investment Fund, which was founded by Katie Wood. They prepared a report in which they analyzed new investment ideas and predicted the price of Bitcoin at $1,360,000 in 2030. This will be possible because 10% of the supply will be used as a currency in developing countries. The live XRP price today is 0 US dollars and 61 cents with a 24-hour trading volume of 878 million US dollars. We update our XRP to USD price in real time. XRP is down 0.49% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to rise to $1? Write your answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos.